Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a special job, yeah? So this job just came on a bag, it's from a local repair shop. I mean, maybe, or probably, you get the jobs like this, yeah? You get a job like this? <laughs> That's how I got a job. So what happened? The computer shop. You know how the computer shop is working? I will tell you. On a computer shop, no one is buying, let's say, screens based on, okay, the faulty screen, the model number, okay, let's buy exactly the same. No, they are buying laptop for uh, spares and, um, or faulty laptops, yeah, and they are using the parts. And let's say, okay, so we have a laptop with a faulty screen. Okay, let's get a screen which has the same connector. We are plugging the connector, and if the screen is working, okay, it's fine. So exactly that's what happened on this laptop. It's the first time I'm opening this job because it just came today. Now, I, I believe this is kind of normal, but sometimes the thing goes wrong, like here. So what, I, what my colleague said, my ex-colleague, uh, because the job came from the, the shop I worked there before. So they said, we plug the screen and smoke start uh, going out from the ribbon cable. And uh, yeah, that's what happened. And he said the ribbon cable got burned, and also the cable got burned. So they ordered a new cable and a new screen. Uh, and what happened is, no picture, <laughs> or it is picture, or no, or no backlight. Okay, I'm not sure what is this. Oh, probably it's the keyboard from uh, from the laptop. Yeah, so that's the laptop. So the job came with flickering and LCD turns off. That was the, the original issue. Why this hinge is stuck with hot glue? This is not made by me. You think they are learning? Wait, so this ribbon cable, one second, I'm confused. This ribbon cable is burnt, right? Oh, that's the old one, and this is the new one. Okay, I got it. I didn't fix that hinge, so that's not made by me. Yeah, so this is the, the, the ribbon cable they order. What is this? Okay, this is the old one. But they didn't took the cable out. Hmm. Okay, so this is a brand new screen. No, it's not a brand new, it's a second-hand one. Let's test it, just to know from where we are starting. The battery is disconnected. The AC chip is not exploded. Uh, let me plug a charger. Okay, so 19 volts, plug in the charger. Pressing the power button, and nothing happened. Oh, no, no, the current is going up. 60 milliamps. Four hundred milliamps. Check that the Lenovo logo. You seen the Lenovo logo? I seen the Lenovo logo. So this screen doesn't have backlight, and that's very easy to fix. You remember we spoke so many times about the signals you need on the screen. Yeah, let's have a look together. So you must have in mind the old uh, the old screen ribbon cable smoked. Yeah. So very possible on this screen, the 19 volts is missing. Where is the 19? Yeah, always you have to look on one side of the connector where the pins are connected together. You see here, two pins together. Here it should be 19. And it's 19, lol. It's 19 volts. Okay, let's check the back of the screen. So this is the old connector, yeah? So that's what happened with the old connector. They plugged the screen and this connector smoked. So the new connector... Why the new connector does not have backlight? Let's check the 19 volts here. 
uh, probably here. There is no voltage. Check on the screen, yeah? 19 volts, you can see. So the 19 volts is present. Then, in this case, most likely the EC chip is dead. When I say the EC chip is dead, I mean uh, regarding the PWM signals for backlight, backlight on, and uh, dim, yeah? Or brightness adjustment. And you have to do something about that to fix it. So the laptop is still on and we have the inverter. We have the inverter. Oh, look, it's quite quite nice. I mean, check there. You, you see that fuse? We have a fuse there. Let's check the fuse. The laptop is still on. So the fuse has 19 volts. 19 volts. The fuse is good. Huh? Okay, then on the inverter, you should have two signals, which has to be 3.3. The dim and the LED on. Let's check the other side of the screen to see if we have test points. Check there, yeah? You have LED PWM, you can see it? And you have LED enabled here, yeah? So here you have PWM in and LED enabled. So we should have 3.3 there. Let's check together. Okay, so we are checking with the ground. If I can get a ground from somewhere. Yeah, I can. So PWM in is 0 volts. LED enable is 3.3. Now, you think the brightness is like minimal? No, it's not. So what we can do, we can short those together. Yeah, we can. And what is happening? Nothing. Oh yeah, it's working. Yeah. Okay, so you see, this is a simple case. The laptop is still on. Yeah, it is on. Yeah, if the fan is spinning, we have picture. You didn't see the picture? I'll show you the picture, yeah? So the picture is, check here the picture, yeah? You can see the picture? Yeah. So we do have the picture. We are not switching off the laptop, yeah? No. No. It's same like, you remember I told you, same like uh, doctors. Yeah? Doctors, they are not switching off the patient, yeah? So if they are not doing it, why we should do it? Just a little bit of flux. Good. Good, so we sold both, uh, both pins. Now we need a proper calibrated wire. So we can do a proper calibrated fuse here. Oh, or proper calibrated bridge. Yeah, let's do it. Good. Good. Okay, so now we can switch and we have backlight. Huh? Huh? What do you think? We done it, we fix it, we fix it. Now we can stick back the plastic and the job is done.
all is left. You know what is left? What is left? To put it all back together. No, 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 no. We are not doing this. No, no. We fix it. We put it back how the laptop came in a bag and send back to the computer shop so they can put it all back together. At least that's what they can do. So I'll say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like always, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.